Hello, everyone. My name is Venusian Calliope, and to interrupt your usual painting schedule, I am showing off my cloak. Woo. Okay. So, today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I normally do, because... So, you know how I sometimes, like, do, like... I go in and, like, I, like, edit the painting before I, like, paint it. And sometimes I, like, add details that weren't there before. Well, um, today, I may have messed up when I did that. Because now I can no longer, um, publish it on YouTube without getting demonetized. So, yay! Because, well, you know that I kind of based, like, my self-portrait on Lucy Westerna from Dracula. And, yeah! And you know what dr vampires drink, right? I don't have to, like, spell it out for y'all, right? Right? Anyway, um, I first noticed it. Well, I don't know why. I just, like, lost myself in, like, the creative process. But I could probably, like, try to, like, Photoshop, like and edit without blood, but, like, I don't want to, like, go into After Effects and do that for every single, like, time I, like, go into the painting. And it's, like, you know what? It's okay if, like, the journey of my YouTube self-portrait, like, stops here and I just end up uploading it to Tumblr where basically you can do whatever. <laughs> but yay. Anyway, um, I end up, like... In this video, I paint, like, red and white roses, but in the end, I decide to, like, use, to paint over the white with, like, a lilac. But you aren't going to see that right now, but I could pull it up. Can we pull it up? Yes? So, like, those, like, purpley white flowers, those are actually, like, garlic blossoms, like, from the book. And it's like, yeah, I love flower crowns. Flower crowns are great. And as you can see, I have a reference that I'm basing, like, my roses off of. And yeah, I know it's a plastic flower crown, and I know that, like, it's not good for the environment, but, like, if it's what you have, it's what you have. You know, and, like, real roses are, like, perishable. So, yay! Well, not yay about real roses being perishable and all that, but, like, woo! So, let's bring up all of the palettes that I have used for, like, these, this painting. Okay. So, there are three palettes here that I end up using because, again, you know... You know how palettes are, right? Or sometimes, like, you, like, use them to, like, store your paint, like, while you're painting. So, yay! Painting. But, yeah, um, I'm re-recording this audio because, like, the last time I recorded, like, the audio for this, um, there were some, like, auditory glitches that I weren't, wasn't really happy with, so... I'm just, like, going in and, like, fixing it. But, like, so when it comes to, like, painting roses, you're going to want to, like, do, like, stick with, like, a rounded shape, but, like, not too circular. Because if it's too circular, it looks not like a rose, if that makes sense. Because real roses aren't perfect. But yeah, um, but yeah, roses aren't exactly perfect, like, 100% of the time, like, and I end up, like, being really, like, proud of, like, how, like, my roses turn out, so this is just, like, me going in with, like, the first, like, red, like, this, like, first red is a mixture of scarlet, mauve, 
well, I say mauve. Is it mauve? It's either mauve or maroon, but it's like this like purpley color and like permanent red with a little bit of white, but not too much. And like the colors that like I use to like for like highlights and like stuff like that is like a lightened version of it with white. And maybe a little bit of permanent red, but like I just think roses are neat. And they're probably, like, my second favorite flower, besides, like, red poppies. I love red poppies. They're cute. And I also like buttercups a lot. Like, the smell of buttercups is, like, nice and, like, it's cool. But, like, frick. What was I going to say? Again, I, like, lost track of my train of thought. But, like, you know how, like, Victorians, well, I say the Victorians, but, like, in a vague sense, but, like, there was, like, a language of, like, flowers, and I think the study, well, I say study, but, like, the language itself is, like, called, um, floriography. And I'll probably, like, go off of, like, it a little bit, but, like, I know red roses, like, symbolize, like, romance. But I know that, like, buttercups symbolize, like, foolishness naivete and um como se dice como se dice um childishness now there isn't like a specific like meaning for like garlic blossoms yes garlics garlic does have blossoms and blooms and i just think they're neat but like garlic itself can be, like, used to, like, represent, like, warding against vampires. But, like, roses, roses used to be, like, in folklore associated with, like, slaying vampires and just doing, you know, all that, like, vampire killing. Just as much as, like, garlic. And I think it's because, like, they grow close to each other in, like, the garden, I think, or, like, they thrive well together. Hang on, I'm gonna Google and see whether or not that's true. Okay, so you can Google, um, well, I mean, you can Google to see whether or not roses grow near garlic well, but, like, they do. I, like, checked it myself. But, yeah, um, apparently they grow really well next to roses. Like, they're, like, buddies. Sympathicos. But, like, the garlic, like, helps keep aphids away from roses, and it also apparently makes the roses, like, have, like, a stronger scent. But I would probably be mindful of, like, using roses that are grown near, like, garlic and other, like, members of, like, the onion family, just because, like, I know, like, at least two people at the top of my head that have, like, garlic and onion allergies Plus, there's always, um, dogs and cats. They can't have onions, and I know, like, a bunch of dogs and cats at the top of my head, so. Maybe don't, if you're, like, allergic. Or if you have pets. But, in folklore, roses used to be able to, like take care of, like, vampires, like, the same way, like, garlics does. And also, like, garlic also has, like, these, like, cool blossoms that look neat. But, yeah, um, garlic is good. Garlic is great. Um, but I'm surprised that, like, Bram Stoker didn't, like, include that in Dracula because, I mean, can you imagine Lucy if she had had, like, a rose and garlic blossom flower crown? That would have been so cool. Or, like, using the power of love to defeat Dracula. <laughs> I mean, that would be cool. But, yeah, um, you know... I'm surprised that, like, morning glories, like, considering the name, aren't, like, associated with, like, 
destroying vampires. And I mean, I think morning glories are... Hang on, let me Google this. Morning glory floriography. Floriography. Okay. Morning glories um symbolize um what do they symbolize? You know what? I'm not going to rely on Google for this just because like you know, Google Google is Google and sometimes Google isn't Google used to be good at like you it's like a search engine, but I mean it's still better than Bing. But like hang on. There we go. I have like um I have like my own um como se dice um link to like floriography. And I'll even include it in the description because I just think it's neat. And it's like good to have like on hand if you wanna like get like deep into like um como se dice, como se dice like wedding planning or something and it's like yeah, I want these flowers. Or wait, I don't actually want these particular flowers because they kind of stink. Or they represent the past and having pain in the past. So give me a moment. Oh, um, azaleas represent um temperance. Um, let's see. Bay tree is glory. And a ha and receiving a bay reef, like you know, like a reef of like laurels is a reward of merit, but I mean I think we all knew that one. Or if you didn't, um you learned something. Which is always good. Um let's see. Let's see. Morning glory. Um purple columbine it means resolve to win. And that makes sense. And Columbine, like the blue one, represents folly. Corn represents riches, but yeah, riches. Um, let's see. Let's see. Enchanter's Nightshade represents witchcraft slash sorcer sorcery, you know, like magic spells. Woo! And I know lavender roses can be used to represent love at first sight. And I just think they're neat. And we have like lavender roses in my front yard. I just think roses are neat. But yeah, um, let's see. Morning glories, where are you? Oh, grass. Grass represents submission slash utility. And I accidentally clicked a link. So hang on. And let's see. Ooh, hemlock. You will be my death. Oh, boy. That is really heavy. Okay. Honey flower. Love, sweet, and secret. Honeysuckle. Generous and devoted affection. Let's see. Um, Laxpur represents, like, lightness and levity. Okay, as soon as, like, I get to Morning Glory, I would like to, like, look at, um, poppies, just because, like, I like poppies. Ooh, Morning Glory. Affection. But, I mean, Morning Glories can come, like, in different colors, like, there's blue Morning Glory, but there's also, um, purple and pink, I think.
Mulberry tree represents I shall not survive you. We have actually, we actually have like mulberry trees like in the front yard as well, just because like mulberry trees. Even though I'm kind of allergic to mulberries, so it's like every time I go outside, it's just like annoyance, and it's just, like, haha! Almost every flowers can be like, uh, to me right now. Ooh. Orange blossoms, your purity equals your loveliness. Ooh, that could be, like, really passive-aggressive if you wanted it to be. But, yeah. Um. Let's see. Let us see. Pomegranate represents foolishness, while the pomegranate flower represents mature elegance. Poppy red, consolation. Poppy scarlet, fantastic extravagance. White poppy, sleep. My bane, my antidote. But, like, what about, like, those, like, golden California poppies? Like, would it be, like, hope for the future or something? I mean, I like poppies. I especially like, like, the California poppies just because, like, they pop up almost every spring. And it's like, wow. They're really pretty, and they're, like, this, like, golden orange, and it's, like, it's so pretty. Okay. Okay, so, rose means love, but, like, generally. Um, let's see. Let's see. A single rose means simplicity. A thornless rose is early attachment and yellow rose is like it represents like I love you less than I did before and it also symbolizes jealousy um crown of roses are like a reward of virtue and Let's see. Ooh, saffron. Beware of excess. Well, I mean, it does make sense because, like, again, like, how expensive, like, saffron is. Um, ooh, shamrock. Lightheartedness. I'm gonna, like, go back and, like, see whether or not, um, I can get to, um, buttercups, but, like, I don't know. Buttercups are cool. I mean, don't eat buttercups, though. They're poisonous. <laughs> and, like, they're also, like, in the same family as, like, Laxbur, and they're also poisonous, so don't. And if you, like, eat them, you will die, and it will be, like, really bad. <laughs> don't eat buttercups. Also, oleanders are, um, poisonous as well. So... Also, like, most bulb plants. But again, um, I'm not a doctor. I'm not, like, a certified professional. But, like, don't eat poisonous flowers. Unless you're, like, a thousand percent sure they're edible. Like, roses are edible, but, like, don't. Don't eat a rose. Because, like, sometimes, like, people put, like, pesticides and stuff, even if they are edible. So, maybe don't eat flowers unless you, like, get it from a grocery store and they're, like, food safe on them. Like, they have, like, the label food safe. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Um, fur symbolizes time. Like, if you have, like, a branch from, like, a fir tree and you add it. Let's see. Ooh, dead leaves. Sadness. Oh, 
Oh, currents. Um, thy frown will kill me. That's sad. Cranberry cure for heartache. Okay, and... Up, 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 up. Oh, cabbage represents profit. So if you really wanted to, like, send somebody, like... A message of, like, give me your money, I would probably be, like, cabbage plus corn plus cabbage plus corn plus, um, oak. Probably just to be, like, hey, give me your mo- give me your money. Okay, so buttercup represents ingratitude and childishness, but, like, they smell nice. I actually have, like, this one perfume that has, like, buttercup scent and strawberries and raspberries. And it's it smells really good. And it's, like, it's so good. But, yeah. Also, like, um, once again, I'm not going to rely on, like, GarageBand to be, like, an optimum like reflector of like the frame rate but like oh my god it's so hard not to react I'm like oh god I hope it's okay I really hope it's okay but like oh my god oh my god oh my god um but yeah um can you guys tell that like it's almost um mulberry season just because of like how like my everything just decided to like say screw it let's just like do everything now and it's like no i need to record for like seven more minutes it's like i want to do things you know like a normal person but yeah so how have you guys been i mean i've been kind of miserable But bright side, um, I could be worse. But upside, um, let's see. I think they have, like, garlic on this list. Let's see. Ooh, fennel, worthy all pl praise and strength. Woo! Well, forget-me-nots are exactly what they say on the tin. Tin. True love. Forget-me-not. Please remember me. Let's see. Let's see. Um, what was I looking for again? Um, I just realized you could probably pair grass with the corn and the cabbage to be like give me your money oh my god i know exactly what i'm going to do to like one of my friends it's like a prank now just sending them grass and cabbage and corn and be like give me your money <laughs> but like oh my god it would be funny Imagine, like, making, like, a wreath out of that and just, like, putting it on someone's door. Like, give me your money. I made this. Give me your money. <laughs> but seriously, though, don't give me your money right now. I'm uh, I'm fine. I'm more than okay right now. But, yeah. Um, let's see. Ooh, German irises means flame. And ivy means fidelity slash marriage. So, I think I know what I want to use for, like, a hypothetical, like, wedding plant. Or at least, like, an accent to that. Ivy. Ivy. As long as it's, like, not a non- As long as it's an-, an As long as it's a non-invasive, like, species of ivy. Because, like, sometimes, like, invasive species, like, kind of wreak havoc on, like- the ecology of an area and they just like explode and just they grow everywhere and it's like annoying 
Especially like with mint. Oh my god. Don't. With mint. Mint. If you're like in an area that can like handle mint, please just keep it like in like a like a potted thing. Just so it doesn't spread. It just becomes like mint. Only mint will remain. I guess you could say it was meant to be. But yeah. Rick. Ooh, lavender symbolizes distrust. And also, Lily of the Valley means return of happiness, but like, don't tell Breaking Bad fans that. Because, like, once again, they're also poisonous. If it's a lily, it's probably poisonous. Except for my friend Lily. Lily, I love you. <laughs> like, platonically. Um, marigold symbolize grief. Yeah, that makes sense. I mean, mostly because, like, every time, like, I see marigold, it's usually, like, around, like, Dia de los Muertos and... It can, like, symbolize, like, death and, like, remembering, like, the people that you love and, like, the happiness that they brought you. So, yay. Mint is virtue. Mint is virtue, you guys. <laughs> no, there's nothing virtuous about, like, mint just because of, like, how it spreads. Okay, let's see. Ooh, nightshade in general symbolizes truth. Wow, narcissist, like, you know, like, um, they look kind of like daffodils, but they're not really daffodils. Can we, like, pull a picture up now? Are we just gonna have to, like, rely on the Wikipedia page in, like, the description again? Yeah? Okay. So, once again... A narcissist will be in the Como se dice description, along with, like, my floriograph floriography link. So, please look in the description sometimes and, like, read it, because, like, again, it's just cool. All of symbolized peace, but, I th but, I mean, that one makes sense. Okay. Peach, your qualities like your charms are unequaled. You know, I wonder if they have cherry blossoms on here. I say that as I, like, keep going back and forth, and it's like, okay, I should probably, like, put a whole hold on, like, this, like, floriography thing. Also, it's almost Valentine's Day today, you guys. So, um, flowers. Flowers. Okay, let's... Okay, cherry trees in general symbolize good education, but this list does not include, like, cherry blossoms. So, I think it would be, like, good for me to, like, finish the video, like, around here and look at the painting it's been nice to like be here with y'all 